everybody. I was wondering if we have any updates on the Quoventus predicted modeling tool uh, that's predicting over the next 45 days. Yes, we do. Thank you, Lori. And, and I, again, apologize to our group that I was uh, under the impression that it was free uh, to the entire community and population, but I learned it's only free to hospitals and not because they're just such a generous company, but they are a healthcare consulting company who would love nothing more than to have us engage them to help us with various, you know, projects and initiatives. So uh, that's why they made the, uh, the model uh, free to all hospitals. Um, but we run it daily. And again, just to remind folks that uh, groups Tulare County and Kern County together uh, as, a, as a measurable region with about 1.3 million, um, it, it showed that, uh, that we hit the apex uh, probably around April 25th. Uh, so early last week, and that we'd plateau for about a week and then start coming down the curve really, say, tomorrow or this weekend. Um, but I don't know if that will change because of just the, the spike in the number of cases that we have seen just over the last three days. But that could be already built into the model because mostly what they're trying to predict is the need for medical surgical beds, uh, intensive care beds, ventilators, the number of predicted deaths. Um, so I don't know if, they, uh, if their predictions change because you're just seeing more cases being reported because one of the factors they do need to build in is that testing capability across the country is growing every single day. So you're, you're gonna have, you know, the absolute number of positive cases is just gonna grow because you're testing more people. It's really, it's the positive rate, you know, it's the number of positives divided by the number of tests performed that's really most important. And I don't know if that testing denominator is in the model. When I, when I go back to the command center, I'll work with Dan Elaine on that, but that's, uh, um, but right now it's, it's pretty much still forecasting that our region is now entering the downslope. 